My name is Lord Born Justice of Law. I'm a member of the Nation of Gods and Herbs, otherwise known as the Five Percenters. Peace. Basically, we're poor, righteous teachers, and we strive to civilize people that don't have no knowledge of themselves. If a person is living a life of wickedness or doing evil, it's our duty to civilize people as Five Percenters to strive to educate them to put them on the proper path. We use the science of supreme mathematics. We use the science of our alphabets our, and our lessons. We have a lesson called a student enrollment, and in that student enrollment, it asks us, who is the original man? The original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, the father of civilization, and God of the universe. When they say God of the universe, God only means man. And man means his, his universe. He's the sole provider for his universe. If you have a family, then you're the God of your, of your universe. The original people, history dictates and showed and proved that the father of civilization is in the root of Africa. So we say that in the holy city of Mecca where the knowledge and wisdom of the original man was first found shows us that we are strong in that aspect. And history with our melanin also shows us that original people, black people, are stronger than Caucasian people. A white man could be a father center only because he go up in, under the teachings from 35 to 50 years in order to be like us. That's how Michael Muhammad Knight came amongst us. He came as a guest. Then somewhere in the midst of his visits, he got this knowledge and he figured that he can do uh, more with the knowledge that he got from us than we can do with the knowledge. And then he became an outsider. We don't disrespect you know, homosexual. You live your life, that's your life, that's your choice. But we don't have no homos in the nation of gods and earth. We don't know if Jay-Z some of us don't know if Jay-Z is a 5 percenter. He should have some kind of influence from some of the 5 percenters in his area because he grew up in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, as we call Medina, was heavily influenced back in the 60s. So I'm not going to say he's not a 5 percenter, but I can't say he is either until I talk with him. Same thing with Carmelo Anthony. I would like to know because you're wearing our universal flag. I couldn't go and just make a... Uh, a rock logo, as you know, Jay-Z had the rock logo. I'm quite sure somebody would ask me, and I'm, am I down with Rockefeller Records? No. If I'm not down with the rock, then why am I wearing the rock logo? Same way, you're wearing the five percent of the universal flag. Are you affiliated with us? Are you, I mean, you're showing us respect. You have it on. I wouldn't be on the front, on, on the bench, on the front row at the basketball court side at the basketball game, but he took it there. Now that it's there, why are people zooming in on the flag? That's because Jay-Z wearing it? We've been wearing the flag for years. We had some made in medallions for years. Is it really about Jay-Z? Is it really about the five percenters? Because the five percenters are not wicked people. We're righteous. Our father taught us to be not anti-white nor pro-black. Taught us to be anti-devilishment and pro-righteousness. It's a big difference in the twists and turns of people using words.